it is blowing an absolute gale outside. We have all kind of locked up in the van. Kids are doing their schoolwork. Yeah, sadly. Which they love doing. Yeah, yeah we just absolutely love it. They really do, can't you tell? The excitement and emotion in their faces is just melts my heart. Jess is just chilling on the bed. It's like 40 something degrees outside. We've had to close both roof hatches because the hatches are about to blow off. And as you can see, it's pretty windy. Warning, that's to get put up. I wish I had have filmed it because it would have been really interesting for you guys to watch us and our, some friends of ours that managed to stop by helped us hold it down while we were trying to put it away. Insane. I have the, uh, the 360, the 270 awning out on the ram as well and uh, it started to move the ram around so I had to put that away. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is our first full day at uh, Osprey Beach. <laughs> it's windy as hell, but it is pretty beautiful. It's pretty amazing space and we're gonna go for a bit of a snorkel this afternoon. And I'm hoping that today's the day for the wind and then it'll start, to, you know, settling down a little bit or maybe this is it so if it's windy like this for the next week we'll see how we go maybe we can circle but it's uh too windy to have everything out to keep the sun off so a bit of a catch-22 situation anyway we'll go for a bit of a snorkel later if we can find some fish So we just spent the last couple of hours swimming with, uh, what are we swimming with? Turtles? Turtles. Turtles and all sorts of different sorts of reef fish stingrays. and stingrays. We had a fat time, didn't we? Yeah. What was your favorite? Turtles. Turtles? I got to pat the turtle. You t did you, on the, on, just on the shell? Yeah, on the shell. Eh? Yeah. Turtles? That's so cool. There was one like this big. Yeah, so the, that was down at Osprey just literally walk off the sand five meters in and you're swimming with turtles just insane so tomorrow i think we're going to hit up we're going to go tomorrow maybe the oyster stacks or turquoise bay not sure but if it's as windy as it was today i think that there's a little bit more protection down at turquoise bay or there's like something called the drift i'm going to say the drift anyway we're going to go and check that out tomorrow but uh what a sick day today just hanging out there so cool all right so while we watch the sun come down here at Osprey, check this out. A couple of tins and making some corn ribs. Pretty easy, just uh, cut some uh, corn into four, give them a bit of a toast on the barbie. Bit of a toast on the barbie and then you just um, throw some uh, feta cheese and some sour cream, a little bit of uh, parmesan if you like and um, some spice rub on top and uh, mate, they make for an amazing snack so check them out
Now, Charlie's gone and made the mix. What, are we, what have we made, Charlie? It's just feta, sour cream, and traditional, and just normal egg mayo, and it's just mixed together, and we put it on the corn ribs. So go and grab these corn ribs off the, uh, off the Weber. Do you want to bring the plate over, mate? Let's go. Oh, check out these colours. Hey. Oh. How good is that? Right, so the corn ribs are done. So we just want to get them a bit uh, crispy on the outside. We'll throw these on the plate. Fast and sort out the back end. Whoa. Alright. Then what do we do? Hot. We just dip them into the Hey, can you go inside and just grab the magic dust? Yeah. And there's Jess there. Doing some work. <laughs> yeah. Working under the influence. <laughs> you working under the influence, Jess? Yeah. Yeah. And well, then I just use a bit of this Lane's magic dust. Oh, Ethan's got the spicy one. Right, I'll just grab the one that I saw. We'll just put them on top. I don't think it's all coated. This one needs to be coated. And this one right at the bottom needs to be coated. Mm. Into your gob. It's so simple. Yeah. Oh, turn around so you can get some light. So simple and easy and yum. Give them a go. So I'm making Ballara burgers. We bought some Ballara burgers from uh, Ballara Station. And there's a little tab on here to open the burgers up. So I did that, pulled the tab. But then the bottom of the bag gave way and now all the burgers. Sandy as. It's all right, I'm just gonna wash them off. That'll be right. So I hit them with the hose, I'll be right. They'll be fine, they're not getting wasted. <laughs> so we're down at the lakeside snorkeling area. We're going to check that one out today. Maybe go and have a look at Turquoise Bay as well, depending on what lakeside's like and if we uh, want to spend a bit of time there. But uh, how good is this view? Like, if you can see the water over there, but bloody hell. Amazing colours. Insane. They've got a whole discovery center here so you can uh, you know check out some of the info that you got they sell uh, snorkeling gear cold drinks pies souvenirs fly spray uh, not fly spray bloody flies fiji spray and all that sort of stuff in there so if you need any quick supplies no bread or milk or anything like that but if you need any uh, quick supplies to top up some drinks or whatever it's not a bad spot so pop in there and check them out and there's a uh, there's a dump point here as well so they got a bit of everything anyway we're gonna head down this road here down to lakeside and uh, have a bit of a snorkel see how it goes Check out all of the uh, little snorkeling spots and stuff while we're here. We've got a few days. But tomorrow, the uh, I think the weather's supposed to turn a bit. It's supposed to be pretty windy, and um, we experienced that yesterday. Some pretty hectic winds. Some people are losing their awnings and all sorts of stuff. It's pretty crazy. But um, anyway, we'll give it a go and see how uh, how windy it gets. Just fold the awning in, and then we'll probably just head um, head around. So pretty. So excited. 
So we've come out to Lakeside Snorkel Site today. It's pretty nice day, so we just thought we'd try out here. So, the info. And then, here. So we brought the cool cabana and we've got our snorkels and stuff. We'll spend a little bit of time down here. about the uh, bad audio but we're now here at the oyster stacks kids are having a snorkel what is it? this is the best there's so many fish there's ones like this big there are some pretty massive fish in here it's actually pretty cool and uh, behind me you can see there's one of the oyster stacks and then over there there's another couple and basically there's like a shelf and underneath the shelf there's just a ton of um of fish which is pretty pretty awesome i'm not sure the speaker looks like it's full of water so i'm not sure if the audio is going to be any good hopefully it is but uh, anyway we finished up at um, um the last place now we've just come down to the oyster stacks for a little bit before the tide goes out and then tomorrow we'll hit up turquoise bay but uh, the snorkeling snorkeling here on the mingaloo oh, is something else but i can tell you what i wish i had my spear gun there's some dinner there's some definitely some dinner down there <laughs> Greens just get hammered by the wind and then they fill up all these flies coming in the van. Sorry, chase the bag. All these flies end up coming in the van and uh oh, so the only solution then is to shut the van up so that the screens don't break and the flies can't come in, but then it's 40 degrees. So it just turns into a massive hot box and we're unpowered and there's no AC so we're uh, we're going to call it and we're going to head into Exmouth a couple of days earlier and just do day trips out here it has been beautiful it really has been night times are astounding but um you can't really see much at night so we're going to uh, we're going to do that head into town and then we'll start heading south after Exmouth and uh maybe see if we can uh you know get ahead of these flies and the heat a little bit The REC park here in Exmouth is pretty cool. They've got two pools, though I don't know if you can see behind me. One of the pools is uh, 
I think it's about 125 people per square inch in that pool. Um, so, not very relaxing, but definitely need it for a cool off and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. So, anyway, we're back over to Whalebone for dinner. Good news is, Caravan Park is basically across the street, which means I don't have to drive, which means we can have a few too many maybe we'll see jess has decided she's going to try one of everything on the menu so we'll see how she goes with that and yeah back for a couple of other pizzas it's soon become this uh, it's it's very quickly become our favorite spot in exmouth i think wild bone also here in exmouth they've got a uh, pretty good tackle world it's huge so if you don't have any snorkeling gear for ningaloo that place has got pretty much everything you'd ever want and then beside it is a caravan repair place so if you have done yourself a uh, a mischief, they the guys that can fix it. They also sell some King's products and a few other caravan essentials as well. So like your cleaning products and water hoses and all that sort of stuff. So if you need anything, they've got that here in Exmouth, which is pretty cool because most of the places I've seen in WA are pretty small and don't really offer much. The, uh, the broom place, the, the caravan and camping place in Broom was really small actually and didn't really stock a lot, but this place is like, like, yeah, it's huge compared to everything that we've seen everywhere else. Now, we didn't go into the caravan or camping shop in, um, what was it? Caratha. We didn't go to the one in Caratha. It looked like it was pretty big, but um, we didn't get in there. But this place here is pretty well stocked. So, if you need anything, check them out. Here we are. My favourite place in Exmouth. Live band and stuff Friday night. Should be pumping, hopefully. We're just uh, finishing up at, what is it, kids? What is it? Travels with kids? Travels Travelling with kids. kids? I'll put the name in the bottom. Yeah. Um, I'll tag them, they organised it, so yeah. I'll tag them in. Travelling uh, straight with kids, something, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Um, so we've just finished an afternoon on the beach with um, Travelling with Kids Australia. Awesome. Got to meet a whole heap of new new families, which is great. The travelling community is so awesome. Extra flies now. Yeah. <laughs> It's just been a great afternoon just down at the beach. The kids have all made heaps of new friends and we've just met a whole heap of new families. It's just been a great, it was a great turnout too. Yeah, so many cars. Half of them have gone now, but you can see how many cars there. The best one of them all, obviously just here. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Awesome turnout, yeah, awesome event, great. and uh, yeah. hopefully we get to see more of these things because yeah. I remember the one that we did with Vanity Friends back yeah, in Bassel Creek really was epic. Yeah. Made lifelong friends there and we'll do it again. Yeah. So it was cool. awesome. It was really good. 